You were a fine knight, Don Quixote. You won't get away with this, Krauser. He already did. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Resident Evil 4 Remake. This is Chapter 12. We're making really good progress. Uh, before we leave this area, let's just quickly do a lap around and make sure we did not miss any items. In fact, it looks like there's a red herb and maybe a green herb over here. Anything else? All right. The nice thing about knife uh, fighting is we didn't really waste any ammo but we didn't really kill uh, Krauser either he escaped so we're gonna have to fight him a little bit later but before we fight him I feel like we should fight his boss or at least one of his bosses I don't know maybe maybe Salazar isn't his direct boss more like a work acquaintance accomplice I don't know the word He's just a co-worker. Alright, um, yeah. Let's get on out of here. This is gonna be an episode that's probably not super long. But we are gonna have a boss fight at the end. Oop. One second, we got a phone call. Leon, there's only time to say this once, so listen up. They took your friend to the top of the clock tower. If you hurry, you might get there before she turns into one of them. Uh, so you aren't heartless after all. I guess I should be thankful. Yeah, you should. Pretty much where I was going anywhere anyways, Ada. <clears throat> so chill. But nice to know that you're trying to help me. But why are you trying to help me? Let's grab the small key. This is the last one that we will use in the castle area. Let's grab the mission here. The disgrace of the Salazar family. That detestable Ramon Salazar. Even the very sight of his image makes my skin crawl. Do me a service and find some way to deface the portrait of him in the room shown in the photograph, will you? I'm not particular about how you do it. Hitting it with something might do the trick. Ooh, you have the stench of battle on you, mate. <laughs> uh, before you hop in the car here, there's a bunch of stuff that we can do. Let's go ahead and just save, I guess. Save over chapter eight. And let's see what the merchant has for us. But first, okay, I have like nothing to sell him. That's, that's too bad, but all right. Welcome. Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. Maybe I could sell him like some TMP. Yep, there we go. I'll, I'll sell buy that. almost in well, well. I can certainly do something with this. Let's repair the body Crossing armor. Crossing your T's, dotting your I's. That's the way to be. Just want to keep upgrading the riot gun because... We're starting to get an idea of your taste. Other than the Pleasant pistol, trip. I guess it's my favorite weapon. Oh yeah, we didn't look at what he could... Welcome. What we could buy. What can I Nothing new that I, that I think he has. You get some bang for your buck. I guarantee. We could buy resources. Now nah, we're good on everything. Let's just get, uh, no. Nah. So before we go in there, let's do a little bit of backtracking. This will open up the door back to the ballroom that we couldn't get through before. And unfortunately there are some more bugs in here, even though we pretty much cleared out this room before. Um, so let's figure out where the key needs to be used right here lock treasure in the mausoleum all right we can we can check that out i don't think there's any other locked yeah that lock drawer up here how many how many keys do i have i only have the one i don't know i might have missed a key somewhere but cuz i see two places to unlock well all right well first things first let's just go to the throne room because it's fun there's there's cool things in the throne room lots of loot you don't have to go to the throne room 
but I recommend it. You don't have to do any of this that I'm about to do, really. What is this on the stairs? Just some money chilling there? Actually, I think these are the stairs I want to go up. Okay, I thought there was more bugs in here, but I guess we're not seeing any. Actually... I guess we just go right here. Huh. Maybe the bugs are just hiding that well. <laughs> hey guys, how about a grenade for you? Alright, let's just run by. Maybe we can hit all these Plagas with a, uh... Wow, he hit kind of hard. Maybe we can hit him with a flashbang. Just kill them all. Here you go. You're dead. You're dead. Right into the bell. Ah. Oh. Would have been awesome if I kicked him right in the bell and it actually, you know, went off, but oh well. Let's grab the ammo here. So if you recognize this room a couple episodes ago, we fought two of the guardors or whatever they're called, uh, the dudes with the giant blades on their hands. And we fought two of them here. Did the unicorn thing, we went in here, right? But as soon as we went in here, we got uh, sent down into the pit of death which we escaped from miraculously. This time we can loot. Let's go ahead and do that, shall we? Chronicles of Pursuit 2. October, eight years since my awakening. At last, my noble pursuit progress to its final stage. The infusion of, the fusion of human and insect. I knew it. The housekeeper has graciously volunteered herself for the experiment. I shall pour my whole heart into this endeavor in order to transcend humanity and make Master Ramon proud. March, nine months since my awakening. A glorious union has been made. The housekeeper has endured much suffering, but not for naught. Behold, the fruits of our labor in all its beauty. I shall consecrate this perfect life form with the name U3, for U3 is the most beautiful and complete number. April, nine years since my awakening. U3, my dear hound, Pesanta, has been chosen to serve as the right hand of Master Ramon. But is two not better than one? Now it is my turn to demonstrate my loyalty, his humble servant. So this is the guy that made the Novistadors or whatever, the bug people. And then he also made one of those big bodyguard dudes that uh, Salazar has next to him. We already killed one of them, Verdugo. <coughs> All right. There should be a little bit more loot in here. Let's keep looking. Ramon's Confession. My lord, my true benevolent father, blessed the Salazar bloodline with an iron hammer. The founder of my family proclaimed the holy teachings of Los Illuminados evil and persecuted its followers. Not only that, he stole their most sacred prized possession and sealed it below the castle. Blasphemy! Insolence! How long have I suffered the shame of knowing that the same blood flows through my veins? Finally, the Day of Atonement has come. O oh, my beloved Lord Sadler, I shall release the holy plagas that were hidden under the castle. The time is now. With divine grace, the wicked shall be reborn as a part of the flock, reborn as Ganado. They shall be my Lord's loyal servants. Ganado, I think, is Spanish for cattle. Nothing would please me more than to sit at my Lord's feet and bask in your splendor. I am your humble servant. You are my eternal light. To you I swear my unwavering allegiance. Right, so here's the throne. Doesn't look very epic, and there's just a couple chickens chilling. But we can sit in the throne. My turn to be the king. It's my castle now. There's no time for resting. If you don't shoot the chickens, eventually the, one of them will lay an egg, I think. Let's go ahead and do... 
the puzzle. Give me something good. Oh. This golden uh, chicken egg will come in very handy later on. The housekeeper's memo. Two. Oh, Master Ramon, with tomorrow's procedure, I shall finally surpass the limitations of this mortal shell. What's left of me shall soon be gone. Magnificent. The holy body is a wondrous miracle. The fealty I have sworn to Master Ramon is the sole light that illuminates my path. Our fates shall be in entwined until the very end. Have you ever known such loyalty? Okay. This must be the guy before Ramon. Maybe it's Ramon's dad. Thank you for the knife. <coughs> Y'all need to stop hiding money and stuff in these urns, because I'm going to get it every time. And there's his mom. Is this his family? And here is Mr. Ugly Face. All right, where's that chicken egg? Did one of y'all not lay an egg yet, or did I already pick it up? I don't want to use the golden egg on this. Come on. Pretty sure one of them, or both of them, will lay a chicken egg at some point. Come on, guys. Did you already lay the egg and I'm just not seeing it? I look down here. Want to look down the pit where I fell? This was where Ashley was getting messed with. Look at all the blood. I don't think it's Ashley's blood, but dang. Oh. Something I can shoot up here, maybe? Oh, nope. Just treasure. What we got? Another necklace. Okay, buddy, I really need you to lay an egg, and if I don't see an egg pretty soon, I'm gonna start shooting. I don't wanna do it, but I'll do it if I have to. While we're waiting for them to do that. Get that socketed a little bit. Maybe I gotta hold still for a minute. Normally they, they lay the egg pretty fast. I don't know what's taking so long. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. He's doing it. He's doing it. Come on, buddy. I believe in you. Yeah. Good boy. I guess it'd be a girl if they're laying eggs, right? Good girl. All right, now get out of here. With this egg, I shall complete a quest. It's also a hint at a boss strategy. That should do it. So, if you couldn't tell from the memos, basically, the Salazar family was good and noble. They knew Los Illuminados was crazy. They tried to hide the Plagas underneath the castle. But, yeah, I guess Ramon, he was a little bit whack. And he wanted to release them, and he did. And now he's a crazy one like them. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go use the small key before we head to the clock tower, which is where we're going to be going next. A little bit of backtracking here. I do kind of wish I could just click on the map and set a waypoint. But I'm pretty sure... Should we go to the mausoleum one? Lock treasure? I'm just trying to remember how to get to the mausoleum. All right, so through the library. All right, we just gotta go straight ahead then, boys. Let's do it. Oh gosh, the bug. That actually scared me. I, I knew there was bugs in here, dang it. Man, did you guys jump from that one? We don't even have to kill them. Let's just get out of here. No bugs today. Bye bye. All right, let's head back to the library. There's also we could hit the merchant again if we want, but not really need to. Uh, let's see. We just need to go. I guess there's more than one way to get down there.
This is probably the long way, but whatever. Let's go get that lock chest. Find out what what we were missing. Might be an armored dude or two in here, so we gotta be careful. Now let's go down. Just in case, I'm gonna get my bolt thrower out. This is down where we fought, uh, what's his name? The Merciless Knight as well. Bet you didn't think we'd going to be going down here a third time, but well, here we are. Hope you guys are having a good day wherever you might be. I'm just kind of chilling. All right, here we go. Wait, wait, wait. I can't get it from this side? I better be able to. Actually, do you know what this is, guys? I missed a treasure there as Ashley. I just realized that. We need that four key thing to get that. Gosh dang it. All right. Complete waste of time coming down here. My bad, guys. That's the third treasure I was missing. So, if you're playing as Ashley in chapter 10 or 11, forget which one. As soon as you go by that room, don't forget to get that treasure with the key ring that has the four keys on it. All right. Well, now we know. So... I guess we have to go all the way back to the other lock chest, which we definitely can get. Too bad we can't go in there and get that one, but whatever. So we're gonna go all the way. Yeah, to this one, the lock drawer over there. We're gonna get out of here, then we're gonna go left through the grand hall. Welcome back to the Grand Hall. Hasn't really changed much. This place is really devoid of life. Are there any more enemies in here? There is. Hey, buddy. Yeah, I'm here. I'm back. You better call your friends quick. Up oh, too late. This is the hedge maze, but we're just going to run right through it. Do you guys remember this? There actually is fish in the water over here. Do I need... I mean, we might as well go fishing, eh? Ooh, that's a big one, too. That's a little bit too big. Let's just eat that one. Any more fishies? We do have a boss fight up ahead, so... Getting these fish might not be a bad idea. I don't even think I can fit you in my inventory, so you can live, buddy. You always gotta leave one to tell the tale, you know? Alright, let's get out of here. Grab this lock chest real quick, and then... We will be on to the clock tower. This room was actually pretty fun. If you guys remember this room, I don't know if you do, but it was a good time. We're gonna run through the doors. Oh, 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 we got we got we got a live one. We got a live one. Out of the way. Okay. Where were we? I think it was in here, huh? Oh yeah, we're getting close. We're getting really close. This game doesn't have too much running back, but it does have a little bit if you want to get all these locks. Anyways, what do we get? The brass pocket watch. All right. Cool place, but. That's all we needed here, so now we're going to head to the clock tower. We're going to take the tram ride that we put off at the beginning of the episode. We ran all the way here just for that pocket watch. Was it worth it? I don't know. 
probably sells for like what 10k we could probably actually just check right now i see you took care <laughs> well done you've proven yourself reliable got a selection obviously good things we can sell it for 8000 so i don't know if it's worth it Thank the golden you. chicken egg sells for 9000 but like i said good luck to you stranger i would rather just save that Dazzle. come back anytime you can actually use the golden chicken egg in the boss fight to instantly stagger or stun the next boss. If you hit the boss, you're only gonna get one throw. So you gotta make it count. On my first playthrough, not gonna lie, I missed the throw like three times. And I just, it, it like auto saves right before the boss. So if you miss the egg throw, yeah, just go ahead and reload the save and then th try again. Because it really does make the next boss fight a lot easier. Alright, um, with that all done, let's get on with the episode. We're going to go to the tram. I think we can just take a shortcut right here. Gosh dang it, you stupid bug. Stay back. Stay dead. I hate those things. Okay. No, I thought it was locked for a moment. Alright, so let's go ahead and save. Gun rhymes with fun for a re Yeah. Don't know how you teleport Listen, everywhere. Stranger. Apparently, it's not one merchant. It's a bunch of merchants. But whatever. Alright, let's go. Ain't the same without our partner, you know. We're leaving Lewis' body just in the castle. The clock tower. Hang in there, Ashley. Hopefully, uh, somebody can come back and get his body and bury it or something. All right, before we go in the clock tower, let's go ahead and break that, get the loot. All right, so this is going to be a fun little sequence. Um... It is in the original. Uh, it's a little bit different in this one, but similar. Uh, but not really that much. The only thing similar is there's going to be a giant statue of Salazar. But other than that, they're pretty different on what they do. And another thing that's similar is the spike balls coming down the pathway. And we will take care of that eventually. I <laughs> You are nothing, if not unyielding, Mr. Kennedy. However, I'm afraid it ends here. Expel this intruder! Oh, shit. How about not? Hi. Hi. Don't even worry, we're gonna clear out all of these guys, no problem. Saving as much ammo as possible. Just run around, take your time killing these guys. Next. I know you guys can already hear that clockwork castle in. We're gonna get that in a moment. I actually left it for the playthrough. All right, before we start heading up the path, check it out. This one is really close. You know, it's funny, they actually gave him his hat. This is how he looked in the original game. He just looked like this, but. For some reason, they changed how he looked and then they kept the little clockwork dudes the same. I don't know. Those clockwork things are not in the original at all, by the way. All right, let's grab the oh, another gold bar. All right. Now we can start heading upstairs, I think. Yeah. All right. 
There's still a lot of loot in this uh, clock tower, so just be on the lookout. Crossbow versus crossbow. Let's go. You got to at least shoot. Now's your chance. I'm reloading. Oh, you're too slow. All right. I'm out of ammo. Sorry. Got to use a gun. Maybe I should craft some more bolts. I could pretty easily, to be honest. All right, pretty soon there's gonna be like a giant spike ball coming down the path. Also, we have to worry about the statue here breathing fire. And if you see on the back of his head, there's a little red spot of dynamite. You can blow him up right now if you don't wanna deal with the, the fire, but to be honest, it's gonna help us more than it's gonna hurt us. And I'll be glad to show you that in a moment. But first, I just want to blow these guys' heads off. We don't even need to waste the ammo. Are you kidding me? I just like right. doing that. All right. Let's watch out here. Hopefully, my game doesn't lag because of the fire. We don't want to go up this way either because the cannonball is going to, or I mean the spike ball is going to start dropping on our heads. But we can get that, I guess. Oh, an Alexandrite. We were looking for that. All right, let's run. Miss me. Why don't you go in the fire? <laughs> like I said, the fire is actually helpful. You can use it to your advantage. Uh, there's a couple... Oh, hi. Hey, why don't you go in the fire? You don't want to? Okay, well, you can die either way. Oh, well, this guy got burned. And we're not going to make it. Let's go back. gonna be a lot more guys up here we can just lure them back to the fire if we want all right hi all right we're gonna get burned now not that much damage but yet those guys they die and we took barely any damage from the fire probably because of the body armor also you know we saved ammo all right, let's head up. Do we want to kill these guys with the fire? Well, we don't have to because we got the spike ball guy. But you guys were wondering when that was going to come into play. You're either going to die from the spike ball or you're going to die from the fire, guys. Make up your mind. <laughs> All right, I don't think we need the fire guy too much anymore, so I'm actually gonna blow his head off now. Let's wait for him to turn around. From this point on, we can just use the spike ball to kill people. Here we go. Let's simmer things down a little bit. All right, let's be careful here. I really know how to make someone feel welcome. We gotta be really careful not to get hit by that. Oh boy. Hey, can you stop doing that, please? Okay, I did a parry and it still did not even work, so whatever. Well, one of them died from the spike. Let's wait for another one to go by. Ooh, 
that was close. Hey, buddy. Can you stop doing that, please? My turn. Look at all these guys coming up. Look at them coming up. Look at all these guys. Hi, buddy. <laughs> uh, let's do another one. I, th I think we might need another one. Let's do one more. We don't want to. We don't want to miss anyone. We're an equal opportunity employer here. Uh, let's grab the loot up here. I gotta imagine we're running out of space. All right. Um, did we kill them all? Let's go get the loot, and then uh, we'll drop down and get that chest, and carry on our way. Thank you, thank you. Wait, did I not break that barrel? We're not in the clear yet though, so once we drop down into that area, we're gonna start going up. And as we're going up, people are gonna be dropping down, but we're, we can hopefully shoot those barrels and kill them before they drop down. If too many people drop on the lift as it's going up, it will stop the lift completely so we gotta be careful about that um as much as i would love some more bolts i mean how much gunpowder do I oh i got a lot of gunpowder all right let's just craft a the bolts they don't even take gunpowder I, I like having like lots of bolts and then rifle ammo or shotgun hmm I feel like we're going to need uh, rifle ammo more in the upcoming boss fight than shotgun. Although I might be able to craft both. Oh no. Handgun ammo. Alright. We're pretty good on like everything. So, Alright. Before we hit the lever to go up the lift. Let's grab the loot. A lot of loot. Alright. Should be all the loot. Oh no. We missed one more. Oh wait. It's... it's where is this one? I can't even target that one, so it must be up above. Alright, well, let's get the party going. Lift. How thoughtful. That guy we wanna kill as fast as possible. Otherwise he will be very annoying. Maybe I can get him right here. Oh my goodness, that headshot was sick. Don't do it, don't do it. What? Lift. You are too fat. Get off of my lift. We're doing all right. Oh, another one. Man, we're running out of pistol ammo. I didn't want to use my bolts because we're not going to be able to like pick them up again. Maybe I'll be able to get them. I don't know, man. Unless we actually hit them directly with the bolts. Oh, hi. Can you please get off of my lift? We are so close. There 
There we go. Okay. Wait. Do you want to die? Come on. Do you want to die? Come on, come on, come on, come on. I got stuff to do. I got ladies to rescue, but I always got time to kill you guys. Where's my bolts? My bolts literally disintegrated. Oh, don't worry, guys. I'm not going to leave you alive. All right. Now... Whoa, we are on the outside of the clock. Remember when we were over there looking over here? Whew. We missed a treasure back there somewhere. Let's go get it. There we go. Just a silver token, not even worth it really. All right, we are very close to the boss fight, actually, guys. Not that far. Matadlo. Ashley. You guessed it. In that door is the boss fight. Son of a bitch. Actually, his mother seemed like a nice woman, so don't don't call her a bitch. All right, let's do this. Bye-bye. Hey, buddy. You might want to duck. I warned you. Now, I'm pretty sure... Yep, yeah, there's another... Okay, on these scaffolding, you need to walk very slowly or they will break and you'll die instantly. Just... Be aware of that. I don't know how you get the loot up there, but... I have no idea how to get up there. But we can get that yellow diamond at the very least. Oh. We get up there right here. Ooh, yellow herb. Some money. Did I hear? Yeah, there's one more person, but we'll get them in a second. Let's go get that loot up here that we saw drop from the barrel. Oh, another barrel too. Wait, wait. and a first aid spray? Handgun ammo? Lovely, lovely. All right, this is gonna be our last chance to save before the boss fight. Um, do I need to sell anything? We can probably socket this. Can't socket that. Welcome. Got a selection of good sell things. Sell the mirror, on sale, sell the gold sweetheart. bar, sell the velvet blue and the Your extravagant clock. <laughs> and give Thank us a little bit of money, enough to repair our body armor. That's good work if I repair the knife. Myself. And um, I'm not upgrading the knife because it's not really worth it in my mind. If you get all 16 Clockwork Castellans, that is basically what you get, is the, uh, you, you get a knife that doesn't you? break. Nice. Dazzled. Max Are power you? shotgun. <laughs> Our craftsmanship demands no less. And, uh, I think that's, like, all we really need. I mean, well. let's combine this, and we're going to go fight the boss here in a moment. I got plenty of healing items like literally one two three four five six the fish seven i got like seven or eight heals the golden egg we're gonna want equipped as we're walking into the boss chamber Might wanna take care of any leftover egg. let's go ahead and save before we do the fight before going this way eh. be ashamed to live the rest well done, well done, not gonna lie. Your reload speed is a bit slow. Um, Alright, so this boss is Ramon Salazar. Or what's left of him. Will you just die? Yeah, you 
did well not dying. I'll give you credit. All right, there's the auto save. Let's go ahead and get the loot. I'm gonna equip the egg. And as soon as the boss fight starts, he's gonna get really close to us. And he's gonna expose his weak point, which is basically a big ugly eye and on his head. We're gonna throw the golden egg right at it. Apparently he hates eggs. And if you hit him with the golden egg, it'll stun him and allow us to knife his eye. It doesn't one-shot him. We're still gonna have to do the boss fight, but it just helps. All right, let's do it. If I if I don't get that first try, I am gonna reload. Not gonna lie, because I want you guys to see what it looks like. But first, a cutscene, and right? So, I have delivered the girl to you as promised. Do tell our Lord to not forget the loyalty of his servant, Ramon. Sure, buddy. Ashley! Krauser is the one who got Ashley. Such a fool, Mr. Kennedy. To have been bestowed with Lord Sadler. You talk too much. You failed! You vulgar! Utterly uncivilized! Die! Finally. Come on, buddy. Show us your true form. We all know you're a freak. Watch you, watch you I get. Show you. I would be granted by my master. If I would have looked down. Ugh. Stage is set for the final act. Ew. You think you're a god? More like an ugly bug. All right, here it is. Here it is. We got him! We got him with the egg! Yeah, bet you like that, buddy. Alright, let's get out of here. We got one free shot, that's it. Oh, calm down, buddy. Watch your language, my lord. Let's just snipe him here. Oh, oh, let's knife him. Go, Leon, go! Too easy. This is why I wanted the rifle ammo. You don't want to be by him when he's on the ground. And when he goes up, you want to go down. So that you can hide underneath. You don't want to stay still. That's what he wants. What? I guess he died? I thought I died. Like, I was like, did he eat me? Or did I kill him? Like, that was confusing. All right, well, we got some lip ro rogue, whatever that is. Some, some fancy uh, lip balm. Okay, well, I will say in the original, that boss fight is a lot harder and also if you don't use the golden egg obviously we did get one free knife on his eyeball but as you can see it's not that hard to get him to show his eyeball just like i said don't hold still keep running her up and when you get an opening when he starts shooting out all that black stuff out of his mouth that's that's your cue to start shooting him in the face i think we got all the loot oh uh wait wait one more thing Where's your face? I can't really tell. Is this your face? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here he is. All right, all right. I think you're right in there, buddy. Okay. Good enough. Bye-bye. Ashley. No time to lose. One less freak out there in the world and, uh, you know, didn't even break a sweat. Though, I wonder, you know, we killed him and we killed Verdugo, but we didn't kill the other bodyguard, did we? I don't remember doing that. So, the other one's just out and about somewhere, or did we already kill it? I, I honestly don't even remember. Maybe we already killed it. Maybe that was some other boss fight. I don't even remember, man. 
We've killed too many uh, monsters in this <laughs> in this game. So this is pretty much the end of the episode. Um, there's gonna be one more little cutscene, I think. Krauser, where do you think you're taking her? Imagine I just one shot Krauser in the head. Take his boat and save Ashley. Game over. Alright. Little safe space before we start the next episode. Um, yeah, I didn't even need to he I didn't even get hit on that boss fight, did I? Like, not even once. I want to craft some more bolts if I can. I noticed I was running, running out quite fast. Alright, you know what? I'm going to let you live because we don't even have a quest to kill the rats. I've already killed enough rats, you know what I mean? They're not even infected. It's the humans. Uh, that, nothing in here. Alright. What we got here? Housekeeper memo one. I have failed you, my lord. I was unable to fulfill your final commandment and keep the boy from the path of wickedness. So, she's talking about the lord of the castle before Ramon. We saw his picture, I'm assuming. He wanted her to keep him from the path of wickedness. I caught a glimpse of Master Ramon's evil temperament during his younger years. When he discovered a servant mocked him by uttering Pulgarcito, don't know what that word means. Behind his back, he summoned her to his private chambers. After forcing her to kneel before him, Ramon doused her face with a vial of vitriol he pulled out of his pocket. The young master watched with glee when the servant writhed in agony as the skin melted from her face. His twisted grin still haunts my dreams to this very day. As time passed, Ramon's treachery only deepened, and that infernal cult soon learned that they could prey upon his vulnerable heart. Curse the fiends. They've manipulated Master Ramon and turned him into their puppet. Worst of all, they've managed to use him to unleash Las Plagas and that the Salazar family has fought so long and so hard to keep sealed away. Lord Diego, rest assured, I intend to watch over Master Ramon until the very end, whatever fate may befall us. As a faithful servant of the Salazar family, since birth, it is my duty and my penance to you. Well, that was Housekeeper Note 1, but we read Housekeeper Note 2 where she was like, praise the Lord and everything. So I'm assuming she got corrupted just as badly as he like after she became he probably forced her in it to be to drink and become one of them you know what i mean just like the minor note he was like oh, i hate being here then the next month he was like Perfect. oh i love it here won't have to swim after all oh that was nice of krauser to leave us a boat Looking for something? Alrighty guys, another chapter down. We are just killing it on this playthrough. I think there's only 16 chapters in total. So I guess I should have saved over that one, whatever. Uh, yep, so hope you enjoyed. Please drop a like if you did. As always, I hope to see you in the next episode. Take it easy, friends.